Hello! Welcome to Galaxy Gaming Skyblock Episode 8. Um, in between episodes I spawned the uh, zombie villagers, well a lot of them anyway. Um, I killed them, as they were villagers, after healing of course. So I got Peridot from a villager, I got Sapphire from Affinitors, I got Diamond from Affinitors, and Ruby, and Emerald, actually from Zombie Villagers, I think, as well. So, all of that we got. Still need Solar Light, Cobalt Ore, Tungsten Ore, Iridium Ore, Sheldonite Ore, and Ardite Ore. I filled my Mana Tablet, and have a few other things to make. I want to make that. Um, that gun. But first I want to start with the tier 1 EMC crops and with a new mechanism machine. Oh, s other things I've done in between episode is replace all the gold cables with energy conduit, ender energy conduit and I added some capacitors here to give me more uh, to give me some more storage. And I also added item conduits with a drawer to fill this with charcoal. Now the conduits are quite simple to make. Uh, and their energy is just a vibrant alloy, which is in the alloy smelter with energetic and pearl. And the pearl energetic being gold and redstone and glowstone. The item conduit is pulsating iron, which is just iron and ender pearl. So they're quite easy, they're going in here, which also meant I was able to upgrade my, um, what are they called, capacitors to a double layer, and then also to a octatic capacitor. Oh, and I finished item conduits, there's apparently a quest for that. And that sped up my sag mill dramatically, if you look at how fast it's going, and which, let's see, I have... Some more here, let's see if we can get some more. I also got an additional modifier on my shuriken. Um, but it's it's nice here for the mob farm, it's really really good because you know they're al almost dead already when they come here. That works fine. Uh, they don't work so it doesn't work so fine on um, full health mobs, even the passive ones. So I don't know, maybe I should add um, sharpness to them. We'll see. Um, instead of rooting, because I'm getting a ton of loot already. And oh, other quests I did in between episode, because I, I'm sure you've all seen this before, right? Making drawers and making a drawer upgrades. I've actually done this upgrade, I've actually done this upgrade and this upgrade, but I need to reach certain levels. In this case, I need building 56. I figured I'd do that later. I made the copper, iron chest, silver chest, gold chest, diamond chest. You all know how that works, you don't have to see that. Diamond chest is right here, that's why I was reminded. And more tests for EMC. So yeah, it's going pretty well. There's a few things I want to do today. As you can see, I've set up some holes here with energy conduits. And those of you familiar with the actual editions mod will understand that this is going to be my empowerer because we need that for the next mechanism machine. However, first, the... Um, oh, I must have put my philosopher's stone in here. So I'm actually gonna grab two, and I'm gonna grab some coal. And I think it's four coal to make the first tier of new coal. Project E coal. No, it's not four, okay. Uh, let's see, it's the alchemical coal. Wow, they want blocks of coal. Jeez. Expensive. Alright. Blocks of coal. Making me alchemical coal. I said, no, it's about the same amount. Which will then teach. And we can actually go back, probably go on to the next tier. Which is Mobius fuel. Oh, it needs blocks. Let's not do that. Okay, we're not going to do that. 
We'll get to that. Oh, actually, I could, but I can also see that I need Magic 84, so I wouldn't be able to teach it the system. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to look at Iron C. Um, C. I don't know what I said. They're called Iron Seeds. I said I won't show them. Anyway, it Iron Seeds. The first tier, right? Oh, yes, it is the first tier, but it requires the basic crafting table. I missed that completely. Basic crafting table requires basic components, block of iron, basic catalyst, and, ba and blank iron slates. So all of these require blank iron slates, luminescence, iron, block of iron, and this is a black iron ingot and basic components. So let's first start with black iron slates, which is black iron, which is iron ingot and black dye. And do we have black dye? We should have for powder. Black iron. Why won't you? Okay, are you going to be that picky? That you have to be done in a three by three crafting crafting grid. What am I, okay? Tell me what I'm missing. Iron ingot. I did black dye, organic black dye, ink sac, black floral black powder, black iron ingot. What am I doing here? Crush. Oh, crush black quartz. Sorry. Oops. Floral black powder. They look, they look very similar. Okay, that's the black iron ingot. Grab a few of that. Combine two into a black iron slate. This me a few of those and grab a few of that. And then the luminescence is glowstone, gunpowder, and redstone. Two glowstone. Uh, I've been experimenting with uh, glowstone lamps and well glowstone blocks as lamps but I wasn't happy with it so I tore it all down uh, I think I want to make the Botania um, lighting thing gun that thank you okay one two three four let's get a few of that and some more iron ingots Okay, basic component, done. Then the basic catalyst, done. Do I need more of that? I don't think so. Nope, just two one. Then I want an iron block. I want two crafting tables. And I do believe that that should be my basic crossing table and I will actually put that over there which is still sort of my base it's where my tinker tables are etc and oh yeah let's put you in the ground why not we put everything else in the ground as well now a Mobius fuel or sorry a chemical and then I need eight well this is nine and some seeds, but actually I don't think that these seeds have EMC, right? No, they don't. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually put this back. Put this back. I'm um, gonna get a stack of that, and maybe I'm gonna get some more because I do have three million, right? So yeah, let's make a bunch seed. Let's make a bunch of these. Because we're going to use tier 1 seeds to make tier 2 seeds, tier 2 seeds to make tier 3 seeds, etc. And I want to keep at least one of them in tier 1. And I want to keep at least one of them in tier 2, etc. Okay. Break these and front. Okay. Do another row. Now these are going to give us the tier one essence if you give if you look at uses I think it's got yes it's gonna give you iron essence which we then need to 
do in the metallurgic infuser with an iron seed to get the gold seed, which is the tier 2. Okay, four more. There you go. So, I also want to have some drawers here to store the essences. Now, I think 2x2 two two is sufficient. And also, I want to have the upgrade. And let's see, the storage key is just gold ingots and a nugget. One nugget and two ingots for the key so that we can lock it. Mm, I think I'm going to put these here for right now. And they're locked because I had the key in my offend, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's one thing done. These are going to grow, and then you can s you're going to see uh, the purpose of them. Next, I want to make an enrichment chamber. And the enrichment chamber is going to help us make the next tier seeds. So first we need a steel casing. And the steel casing, as I showed last time, is an industrial machine frame, uh, machine sessi, and a steel plates. Steel plates is just a steel ingot in the compressor. Here's one I made earlier. One, two, three, four. We need the chassis. Oh, we need the empowerer, which this one has EMC. Go in there. Um, we need the empowerer, so we need quartz. One, two, three of these, and I'm actually gonna grab eight slabs. Well, probably I wouldn't need eight, but still, we're gonna do that. I've done it. You're now an ethic quartz, aesthetic quartz, whatever you're called. An aesthetic green, and so actually, I could just grab three of these and three of these for the display stand that also requires an advanced coil, which is enriched alloy, and a basic coil, which is redstonia. And okay, so redstonia is just redstone in front of atomic reconstructor, uh, palis is lapis in front of redstone reconstructor, etc. And I've actually done um, most of them already. I have emeritic, I have uh, palis, etc. So we want, what was it, uh, red, restonia. Um, I think it was four of those, and black quartz, if I'm not entirely mistaken, it is just like so, which gives us a basic coil. Then we need eight enriched alloys there, which gives us the advanced coil, which you now understand. And then finally, we can make a display stand. And this too has EMC. Nice. So I'm gonna make five of these. Four going to be right here and powered. Right, they have they will have power. And now we make the M power. Which funny enough doesn't actually require power. Um, we have a double battery, that is advanced coil with a single battery, that is advanced coil with a battery and restonia and some inori crystals. Inori crystals are iron in front of the um, atomic reconstructor and the battery. Right? Did I get everything? Let's see. No, not you. Uh, you, I need, oh, I need another Restonia. Uh, no, uh, single battery. Single battery, which is then used to make a double battery, which requires another coil. Yeah, 
These recipes are not standard, by the way. Um, for example, that one battery that was in there is not normal recipe. So finally, we need two industrial machine chassis and other Restonia. And we should be good to go with the Empower. There you go. Now, then, um, this goes in the middle. And that should actually require power. It does require the main block. Four sheets of steel. One basic chassis, uh, sorry, standard chassis. <gasps> Turns into a mechanism steel casing. Now, this should be a quest exactly. Did you? Finally, we can go back to the enrichment chamber, which is basic to um, iron, if I'm not mistaken, to. And then was it redstone or was it? Yes, it was. Or I wasn't sure if it was advanced alloys. Make enrichment chamber. All right. What this machine does. Um, D -d -d conduit. One energy conduit. Not a quest. Wow, I'm just flying through the quest right now. So, you remember that, you know, we made um, the uh, enriched alloy, the basic of whatever alloy it is. So, redstone and iron. Now, you may recall that we did one iron ingot with one redstone. Because one redstone in here gives you the 10, the value of 10 redstone, whatever. You would call it melt molten redstone, I don't know what it's called, it just shows up red. If you first put it in the enrichment chamber, you now get a compressed redstone, which should also be a quest. If we go back to early technology, right here, 16, fine. Uh, let me teach you this first. Oh, I can't. Okay. Uh, I'll just make a bunch of them. Is it easy enough? Throw this in here. But one of these gives you 80 redstone in here, which is enough for 8 ingots. Um, and if we look at the iron, or let it say the EMC, the iron essence, what we need for tier gold seed, that's, it still says tier 1, which is kind of weird, because in the quest book it costs some higher tiers, but if we want the next one, it's gold seed, we need iron seed, and we need about, I think it's about 600 of iron essence in here. That is 600, that is 60 of these, or 8, one siphon in the uh, original chamber. So, Definitely worth it, you know, getting f going from either 60 to 8. Um, and as you can see, they are quite slow. Now, I have been um, quite busy getting mobs as well. For experience, and I've actually used quite a lot of experience to make the Diamond chest and some other stuff, you know, to use the conduits required a higher level than I had, etc. So I keep working on this. Uh, sorry, you don't go in here. One thing I also want to look into is storing my experience. I'd love to store my experience. Um, however, we need some things for that. I don't need to. So, we do have solarium. Nice. And we have the energetic alloy. I want another solarium that I'm going to grind up in the sack mill. So first thing I'm going to make is the experience rod from Ender.io, which I can teach it. Okay. Meanwhile, your Almost done. You are done. So, eight um, enriched alloys out of one single red sun. Brilliant, right? Okay. I should get it just for and not this one. Well, I don't like it. Let's get a copper chest for mechanisms so we can drop these in as they don't have the EMC. 
next thing I want to make for the experience obelisk, which is my goal, is a fluid tank, a soul machine chassis, and two solarium. Fluid tank is just iron, iron bars, and some glass. Did we actually make a tank? No, we didn't. How bad of me. One, two, three, four. And one of our cats is hungry. He's been, he has been eating a bit weird, but finally today he's eating well again. Uh, he may have a th slight throat infection affecting his eating. Um, I also want some black dye. I think I want two soul powder and I want quartz dust. But we'll look it up as well if I need to. Mm. So I want to first have the ender tank, which I think we can now make, and we can then EMC. I also need a soul machine chassis, for which I need the soul attuned dye blend. I need organic brown dye, that's right, which is an egg or slime ball, coal powder, and I don't know, brown floral powder. Oh yes, that's something I haven't done yet. This makes slime balls, I think. Slime. No, I don't. Okay, um, what was it? Uh, floral, no. Uh, coal. Coal powder and a slime ball. Now, how to make a slime ball? Let's melt some rotten flesh in the smeltery. This should turn into blood. Right, this is 120 minute buckets. I'm gonna do one more. That should give me 160. This is quite quick. And if you pour this out on a caustic table without a cast, you actually get coagulated blood drops. You can hang this on a drying rack and you get dried blood, which can give you additional a temporary health boost but we're going to use it to make a slime block. And then we're going to use a slime block to get slime. So two of these, two of these, one of these should make me the organic brown dye, which, ah, yes, as you can see. Now we can make the so attuned dye blend that we combine with a simple machine chassis in the same alloy smelter. Now, did I teach you? No, but I have now. Okay, so we need two more soul scent. We need two more of the five, uh, sorry, energetic alloys. Yeah, thank you. Quest? What? I was gonna say, you should be a quest. Um, teach you that and make a experience obelisk. Which I'm gonna place here. And hopefully, but, um, for now. Oh, it's actually also a quest. So this is all my XP, 97 levels, straight in here. Oh, it's raining. That's the noise. I hate that noise. That's sleep. I cannot sleep. Alright. So, uh, even if I die, which I'm afraid has happened a couple of times, and now I'm gonna keep my experience. Let's see. Was there. What else was there? I wanted to do. Oh, yes, I know. Uh, the ranged collector should be much better than the um, hoppers I have right there, which is two ender pearls, a void crystal, which is basically just a uh, coal in front of the atomic reconstructor um, recipes, not uses. Right, coal becomes void crystal. I need a What's that called? A iron casing. 
which is this one, and a simple hopper, we can make the range collectors. But we can't use it because we need wireless transmission traits. Okay. Also, oh, I wish it was night so I could sleep. What time is it? 12 20, 32. Okay. Wireless transmission. So this is a trait. Now you see me get the magic traits for Botania and then for I think it was Thumbcraft was the first one. Wireless is a tech trait. Now there's wireless transmission, advanced wireless transmission, and clean energy. Clean energy is for solar panels. I want this one. Wireless transmission unlocked. And now I should be able to use this. Right? Um, can I also teach you? I can. Nice. Item conduits. And actually I'd like another diamond chest. Which is a gold chest, which oh actually I should have a gold chest. No? Okay, I guess not. Gold chest and gold chest is using a silver chest. We have a silver chest, we get gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight golds. Diamonds. So you can see that the EMC is going pretty rapidly. Yeah. Um, in fact, I was looking at making a transmutation tablet. And a transmutation tablet requires... Um, um, red snow, yeah, um, ma uh, matter, dark matter, red matter, what is it? Tablet is this one. It requires dark matter blocks. Dark matter itself requires at eternalist few blocks, not just a single one, no, and a block of diamond. These are 53 million EMC each, and I have about 2 million. Not quite sufficient. Alright. So, as you can see, I've got one layer of slabs right here. So that means I can, in theory, Block off the mob farm from here. Do the same on the other side. Then, if we kill the few mobs that we do have here. Oh, actually, not this one. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. One, two, three. So whatever mobs are coming from above are just going to fall onto the dirt. But I will be able to get the platform here cleared out. Hello everyone, thank you. Please clear out. Go away, all of you. I don't want you here. Nobody wants you here. And they're falling up there. Which is fine. Take out these. Take out these. Let's see, drop some of this. Oh, not the diamond chest. I didn't mean. I'll make a new one. <laughs> don't you hate when you do that? Well, you don't do that, but I do. Um, hoppers going in here. Those going in here. That is going in here. Let's make a new iron chest. There. Take out the wooden chests. Get some other stuff in here that we don't really need right now or ever. So, the potions of healing I'm getting from the witches, they don't um, EMC. And there's not much I can do with them actually. So, the chest is going to be right there. I'm actually going to put the obelisk next to it. And it says my 96 levels. In fact, I can do a few more in there. The range collector is going to be right here. And I might run this underneath. I think I'm going to run this under here. Yeah. 
it'll be nicer that way. Like so. Get the yellow wrench out. And let's see. You are going to be extract always active. And you are going to be insert. Now, fill up the area with nice bricks. And this should collect all the drops a lot faster than and then the hoppers could. Now and I also wonder if I should make under IO speed upgrades. How easy or how hard are they? Electric steel, iron ingots. Electric steel I think I made. Yes I did. And iron ingots I have. One, three, four. Piston. And redstone torch. Oh, sorry, it's more electrical steel. Right. Okay, that was the other way around. Right. Let's get 15 of you, which is the maximum amount of upgrades you could do in an. Um, actually, that's 16. Which goes in here. Hello. Right there. See, 15 is the max. This is the fastest it can get. Okay, all the blocks are done. Good. Let's get rid of some more stuff that we no longer need. Like so. Then, oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of dirt. Get rid of this dirt with Vein Miner, and down they drop. Right, and whatever they drop, hopefully the range collector will pick up before I do. Because I don't want all that junk. Um, yeah, I'm still gonna pick up some of it. It might actually also the obelisk. I wonder if it actually picks up experience. Are you not getting anything? Why are you not getting anything? Oh, I know why you're not getting anything. I forgot to set the whitelist to blacklist. So it's currently set on the whitelist, but nothing is whitelisted. So that is on the connector itself. Okay, I can't reach it from here. I maybe I can reach it from above. Actually, I don't have to be down here. If I can get rid of some of the mobs here, obscuring access to it. Yes, blacklist, okay. Now it should be picking up items. Right, going on in here, lovely. So that's a lot better than Oh, not you, I don't need you. Oh, I don't need most of that stuff in here. Uh, we'll process the ores as usual. But this is going to be a lot better than these slow hoppers, right? Uh, actually, I'm wondering. So, 99. I wonder if you're going to pick up... No, you don't. You don't actually pick up experience, do you? You need me to give it. Okay, well, that's fine. At least it's there and it's safe when we need it. You process. And it's so much faster, look at this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nice. And we got one. Oh, sorry, not a carrot. One essence. Yeah, they're not very fast. I don't think I can speed this up. Um, accelerate, there's no growth accelerator here. Acceleration rune, but that's more for the blood magic. Crystal growth, which is for um, blind energistics. Accelerates growth of nearby crops. Harvest nearby growth crops activate every half second. That's interesting, but it requires dark matter. It needs to be on a pedestal. But then actually, I can also use the one of the watch of flowing time if I have that stage of project E that does general acceleration. So 
Now, one more thing before we close off, because I want to move into that for next episode, and that is blood magic. I want to get into blood magic. And the blood magic initially will just require the blood altar. Let's see, can we do a blood altar? What does it require? Ah, no, we can't. Demonic will. Okay, I need to show you how to do demonic will next time. That's right, so I can't really do blood magic yet. I did set up the area for it. Um, anything else? Oh, yes, I automated mana production with charcoal. This is, I'm guessing most of you have seen this a couple of times. The pressure plate on top of the block, you actually use a slab here. If there's anything on the pressure plate, the um, redstone signal will trigger. Yeah, Let's see if I drop some meat on there. Can I? Yes. Okay. So, redstone signal is on, which blocks the hopper. So the hopper is not going to drop anything. Right. Oh, come on. Aim. <laughs> it's not so easy. Yes. No? Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, if anything is there, it's going to block the hopper, and the hopper's not going to throw down anything into or throw anything into this crate, which is a Britannia open crate. Anything that goes into the crate falls out of the crate, which in itself may not seem very useful, but with a hopper, it is. So it's going to drop charcoal until no flour is, is. If all flowers are currently digesting, then this charcoal will stay there. It's going to take a bit because I think I put down 16 or 1, 2, 3, yeah, 16. Um, but once they all have something to eat, the charcoal will stay there and the hopper will stop dropping or inserting charcoal into the crate, the crate will stop dropping charcoal. So it won't all despawn. If you just do a whole stack of there, you know, after five minutes they're going to despawn. And I can now do five stacks of charcoal in here. It's not going very fast, but it's going. Okay, uh, my villagers are still here. They're not doing anything. They're not breeding. I have no idea how, how or why. They're not. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, them. Still haven't seen any squid. No, no squid here either. I was hoping they. So I was told they need s uh, open sky and maybe falling water. I might lower the platform out a bit. Um, maybe because the platform is at 44. They should spawn from level 46, which is here. They should definitely spawn here, according to the Minecraft rules. Not getting any squid. And I noticed some of the ore drops are from squids. So I think, um, yeah, I think that's pretty good for what I wanted to do today, which is to make the enrichment chamber so we can process the uh, iron essence and at some point make the next tier seats, uh, which of course requires the empower to make the mechanism steel chassis, which we now have learned. Um, here, more EMC right there. But you can see it's going slow, 2.3, 2.3. And in case you're like, hey, why didn't she make the power flower? Well, the reason is that I need an energy condenser for that, which requires obsidian, a diamond, and an alchemical chest, uh, which is all doable. Diamond chest, iron ingots, high confidence. Does I haven't done that yet, but I can do it now. Fluix Pro, I'm sure I can get the Fluix, right? But then I also need the energy connector Mark 1. They've changed this a bit. And it requires a tin essence, which is from, I don't know, is that tin? MC, let's see, which tier is that? Four, five, it's the fifth one. So we're not there for, it's going to be there for a while. Before we get to tin. Tin requires elephant trade with the copper tier and five copper essence. And copper requires the empower with aluminium. Aluminium? 
they're missing an eye here, and aluminium essence in the Empire, which we now have. Aluminium seeds require gold seeds in a tier 3 blood altar. That's why I want to start with blood magic. And if you've seen the gold seed requires an iron seed with iron essence in a metallurgic infuser. Um, all in all, the energy character Mark 1 is quite a bit away from a solar panel 3. I think we can do right, it's just glass and steel, lapis and glass, panels, block of iron, solar panel 2, which is solar panel 1 with the piston, solar panel 1 is just mirrors. We can do all that, that's fine. Refined glowstone, well, it's not that hard once you make your stream compressor, which quite easy, doable, we can have that up and running in no time. Uh, we have Osmium, we have Glowstone. So, we can make the refined Glowstone box, we can make the solar panel tier 3, Tin Essence. That's it. Um, and of course, the next tier up, Dark Matter block, and the next tier up is the Red Matter block. Um, they've been adjusted quite a bit. And EMC, and I've said this before, Project E can really break a pack because EMC makes things too easy. Now I grant you that I got maybe eight diamonds of the villagers and I can take out as many as I want right now until I reach my EMC limit which is going to be the main bottleneck. Now I made my display set once, it's now it's in here. I made the mechanism steel casing, now it's in here. Um, you make it once and if, it, if you have the EMC for it and you have the right skills for it Yes, it's it's easier, um, but not to the point where like oh, I don't have to do anything anymore. I can just take out whatever I want because I can't. So I will show you this. I'm not going to throw it into the metallurgic, metallurgic infuse yet. I'm I might do that next time, and when we get enough to do actually do a, a one seed. But for now, um, I'm just going to show you this. It works the same. This is my compressed tier 1. If I throw it in here, it gives me 80 instead of 10, which definitely is going to be better. Um, now, I'm not actually going to keep that in the drawer, because this is the only tier, I think, where we need to compress one. Right. Next time, I'm going to start on Blood Magic. I want to get the... Um, the wheel, demonic wheel, which is not too hard, you know, with this mob farm, that's easy. Demonic wheel, uh, we'll make it blood altar, and we'll start working on the runes and on the upgrades, so that I can make the sacrificial knife, so I can have mobs, and then we'll make a another mob tower right above there. Slightly different because they should not fall to their death; they should actually be perfect health when they come down. But that's not too hard with a bit of water and a sign. Um, and I don't want spiders, because it's going to be one block wide and depth, deep, whatever. Um, yeah, but I'll, you'll see it. You'll see next time. Um, we're going to be fine. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please click the like button. And if you have any comments or questions, tips, tricks, etc., leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button so you will be notified when I'm starting work on the blood altar. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching and take care. Bye bye.